Updating AMI BIOS in UEFI mode on DFI products. This video shows how to update the BIOS on DFI products. Why should you update the BIOS? Here are some of the situations where you need to update your BIOS. First, you are experiencing some malfunctions on your device. The update will resolve these issues and increase system reliability. Second, after upgrading your computer with a newer CPU that is pen-to-pin -pen compatible with your LGA socket, you should update the BIOS. Please always back up your data before updating the BIOS to prevent data loss. And if you have made previous changes in the BIOS menu, please take a note of the settings as your settings will be lost after the update. The BIOS update requires you to obtain the current BIOS version of your device first. Second, Obtain the latest BIOS file from our technical support. Third, prepare a bootable UEFI USB drive. Obtain the BIOS version before you contact our technical support. When the system starts, repeatedly press the delete key to enter the BIOS setup utility. From the main tab, the screen shows the project version or model name and the build date and time or BIOS version. You will need this information when making a request for technical support or when you encounter any problem during the process. Obtain the latest BIOS file and the firmware update utility. Please note that you will need to contact our technical support for the latest BIOS file and it may take several days. Open your browser to go to the DFI website and select Contact Us Technical Support. Fill in the required information including your company name, your name, email, and the product name. On the subject field, specify that you are requesting the latest version of the BIOS. On the description field, write the current BIOS version and describe the issue you are experiencing. Submit a support request. Prepare a bootable UEFI USB drive. You may obtain the EFI boot files from our technical support. Create the backslash EFI backslash boot directory on the FAT32 format USB drive. Download the EFI boot files and save the three files in the above directory of the USB drive, and save the BIOS update utility and BIOS file in the above directory as well. We have prepared the materials needed for BIOS update. Now we need to set the boot option to boot your device to the UEFI shell. Using the arrow keys, select Boot, CSM Parameters, then select UEFI only for boot option filter. Exit the setup utility by pressing the F4 key. Select Yes, then press Enter to save your changes and exit the setup utility. Update the AMI BIOS. We will start updating the BIOS on the device. Don't turn the computer off while the update is in progress. Interrupting the process will damage the board. Insert the USB drive into the system that requires the BIOS update. Restart the system. The system will boot to a shell prompt. Find the device number for the removable hard disk. Type your device number, then press Enter. Type CD backslash EFI backslash boot to go to the directory that contains BIOS files and the update utility. Type ls to list all files in this directory. Find the name of the BIOS file. Type the following command at the prompt, then press Enter. Please remember to place a space between each command option. The utility verifies the BIOS file and starts updating the BIOS. The BIOS update is complete when no error messages are displayed, and the cursor is at a new line with the command prompt. Unplug the power cord to completely power off the system, and then reconnect the power cord back. Verify the result. We will check if the BIOS version has been updated successfully. Enter the BIOS setup utility as the system boots. Check the BIOS build date. It should be later than the one before the update. Contact us at inquiry at if you have any questions.